of input in terms of input the input may be dynamic or static in nature for static circuits and dynamic circuits but the difference rises where your output is depend upon some time specific clocks or not and just second it taking a problem because some okay on pause Okay, one person is left and another person is joined okay so dynamic circuit normally refers to some synchronized or clocked circuits so the basic design of a clock cmos digital circuit is just a modification by adding because in your static cmos circuit you know you have a pull up network and pull down network and the joining point of the pull up and pull down network you are connecting a capacitor out or connecting and taking an output all the inputs are commonly connected to the pull up and pull down networks the pull up network is consists of pmos circuit pmos and pull down circuit is consists of nmos and the pull up circuit is normally connected to vdd and pull down circuit is normally connected to the ground Okay, one more person. Just and when you want to modify this as a dynamic circuit, the dynamicity of the circuit arises when you are output is depend upon some clocks. So there be a provision to provide clock. Just one minute. Okay. So, how you provide that provision for clock? Normally, what we will do is we will add one PMOS circuit, PMOS transistor in between VDD and pull-up network, and on NMOS circuit in between pull-down circuit and ground. So there be an additional PMOS in the top and additional NMOS in the bottom. and both are both gates are shorted and connected to the clock so what will happen is during the positive edge of the clock or during the high time of the clock the pull down circuit will work and during the low time of the clock the pull up circuit will work Yes, some okay. mics are on. Yeah. Okay. Just hold on one minute. Pardon. Yeah. Okay, sorry for the break, and because I am in the H.O.D. room, if there is some thing happens in between. Uh
I will just pause and discuss it. So please bear of that. Right, sir. Can we continue? Yes, sir. Okay. But for a dynamic circuit, yes. Any comment from your side? Okay. So for dynamic circuits, if you are considering a pull-up and pull-down network is not compulsory. So, because during the positive half cycle, the pull-down network is active. During the negative half cycle, the pull-up network is active. So you will get output both the cases. And what is the modification that we can suggest is, we can go for a circuit something like this. There will be a pull-up, we are just avoiding the pull-up network. We have only pull-down network. Here, we have a PMOS that is for clocking. We have an NMOS that is for clocking. And we have the pull-down network. <laughs> so how the circuit will perform is something like this. That is, during the negative period of the clock, if you are just checking the clocking transistor that is named as MP and the another clocking transistor that is named as M1, we are considering the negative period, not it's the period, and the period of the clock, what will happen is, the gate of MP is zero, the source of MP is VDD, so VGS of MP become VDD, so that transistor is on, the capacitor will charge. So this state, this is a particular logic that is initially it is charged or pre-charged switches. So the pull-up network is not there. Only a transistor that is PMOS transistor is there. During the negative or zero period of the clock, the transistor will charge the capacitor, output capacitor. So during the negative edge, negative period of the clock, the output will be high. Then during the negative period, if you are considering the transistor MN, clock is zero. That is VG is zero, VS is connected to zero. So VGS is zero minus zero, it becomes zero. So the transistor is off. Whatever the condition of the pull down network, the capacitor, output capacitor will not be connected to ground. So during the entire negative or zero period of the clock, the output will be held at a high state that is on. During the positive period or during on condition of the clock, if you consider the PMOS transistor that is used for clocking, MB, VG of MB is VDD, VS of MB is VDD, so VGS of this transistor become VDD minus VDD that is zero. So VGS is zero, that means VGS is not greater than VT, the transistor MB become off, that means the capacitor may not have any charging path now, but it is previously charged to on during the negative half cycle or the zero period of the clock. Now what will happen to the clocking transistor in the downside that is the PMO, NMOS transistor that is named as M1 there. The clock is high, so VG is VDD, source is grounded, so VS is zero. So VGS is VDD minus zero, that is VDD. So VGS is greater than VT. So MN is on or it acts as a short circuit. Now, 
is it discharges or not that depend upon what is the condition of pull down network so how the pull down network will be formed is it is formed based on the logic that we are following for CMOS static circuits that is for pull down network for pull up networks that we discussed if it is a product it is a parallel combination if it is a summation or it is an or operation it is a series for pull down network it is the ulta or the reverse that is for a product it is a series for a summation it is a parallel combination so depend upon that if and we are getting a negative logic if a re discharge is required then a pull down network will be shorted if discharge is not permitted pull, up, pull down network will not be shorted so depend upon that the output will goes to zero or on that period is called evaluation period of the network so during the evaluation period the transistors will permit to discharge the capacitor or not depend upon the circuit so what you will do is we will go for a particular circuit and inverter now for this inverter we have a clocking p1 clocking n1 and a logic n2 because if you want i can close it off a inverter circuit of course if you are taking an inverter circuit it is a pmos and mos pmos is connected to vdd and mos is connected to ground the pmos is a pull up network and mos is a pull down network here we have only two clock circuits and a pull down network that's why we have a n2 as a pull down network now how this circuit will work is irrespective of whatever the input condition of a during the zero period of the clock or the negative period of the clock p1 is on so the clock so the c out the transistor will be uh, capacitor will be charged to one okay during the zero period of the clock if you check n on it is off so there will not be any discharging possible now what we will do is during the high period or the positive period or on of the clock p1 is off because we analyzed previously uh, when a clock is on vg of p1 is on vs of p1 is vd vdd that is both are vdd so vgs become vdd minus vdd zero so p1 is off the capacitor will not further charge the question is now n1 is on so depend upon what is the condition of n2 it can discharge or not if a is equal to 1 then the condition of n2 is vg is on that is vdd vs is because n1 is on vs is connected to n1 is on means it is shorted vs is connected to the ground so vgs become vdd minus zero that is vdd so vgs is greater than vt so n2 will be on the capacitor will discharge to zero so if a is equal to one or zero if you are considering the input condition that is a is equal to zero and during the positive edge of the positive period of the clock that is clock is on n1 is on p1 is off so p1 is off means the capacitor will not further charges but in the negative period capacitor is already charged then input a is equal to zero so for n2 vg is equal to zero vs is equal to zero so vgs become zero minus zero so vgs is equal to zero so vgs is not greater than vt n2 is off n2 is off the output capacitor will hold the previous condition. The previous condition is VDD or on. So when input is zero, output is on. Previously we saw 
when input is on output becomes zero so this will act as an in inverter but it is clocked because during the positive period of the clock only you are getting the output during the negative period irrespective of the condition you are getting an output that is equal to zero sorry that is equal to one it is called a pre-charged logic that is irrespective of input condition a clock period it will be pre-charged to one and the evaluation period depend upon the input condition the output will reach zero or one So what are the limitations of the circuit that we are facing is if you want to go for a equations that have more than one or two things that is again clogged, then you, when you want to interconnect it, logic. Otherwise, we have to use De Morgan's theorem and convert all the things to negative logic and connect it. So better way of going for a dynamic circuit is we are called a domino logic. What is the difference in domino logic is we have an inverter at the output. So if you are implementing a, B, D, this you can connect as an input to the next stage. So this is called a domino logic. What is the basic difference in domino logic is you have a clocking at MOS and PMOS. Okay. And a pull down network. Pull down network determine what is the input conditions. And the output is connected with an inverter. So you are getting a positive logic. Can you follow what I am saying? Excuse me, I want a feedback. You can have a chat or something. Yeah, I got a message. We'll just check it. Okay, okay, I will continue. <coughs> so this is a domino logic. So we will check A circuit for a domino logic that is the circuit is SA into AB plus SB into AB bar. How you implement it? Now we can check this is a circuit. The first part is a circuit to generate AB. So here the advantage is your your new circuit. You have a time AB and the AB bar. Okay. So in the first part, if you are checking, you have first transistor in the first part that is connected to clock, that is a PMOS, then a NMOS connected to A, a NMOS connected to B. So it is AB. In a pull down network, a serious connection is a product. A parallel connection is a OR operation or a summation. Now followed by a transistor of PMOS that is for clocking. So we will check what is the thing happening there. Okay. As we discussed earlier, during the positive, sorry, during the negative period of the clock, the output will be charged to one because the PMOS clock is on and clock for NMOS is not turning the transistor on. So the, through PMOS, the output will be charged to on and NMOS will ensure that whatever the input condition, this output will not be discharged. Okay. During the positive period of the clock, the PMOS is off. So there will not be for any further charging. NMOS is on, that is clocked NMOS is on, 
that means depend upon the condition of a and b the capacitor can discharge or not now we will check if a and b is equal to zero then b is equal to zero means vg of b is zero vs of b is zero so the transistor is off any one of the transistor is off means it is in serious path so the path is break there is a break in the path so the capacitor cannot charge so a b zero a zero or b zero all this condition the capacitor will not discharge so output will be hot at on that is the condition a is equal to zero and b is equal to zero output is on a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, output is on. a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0, output is on. Now we consider a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1. Going for the transistor that is connected to b, vg is equal to vdd, vs is equal to 0. So vdd minus 0, vgs is equal to vdd minus 0, that is vdd. And VGS is greater than VDD for the transistor that is connected to B. So the transistor is on. Naturally, this transistor A is short circuited to ground. The transistor that is connected to A, now VG is equal to VDD, VS is equal to zero, VGS is equal to VDD minus zero, that is VDD that is greater than VG. Now the transistor that is connected to A is short. So the output is now short at the ground. Naturally, output goes to zero. So when a condition A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, the output becomes zero. So our truth table can be like this. That is, when A is equal to zero, B is equal to zero, output is on. A is equal to zero, B is equal to 1, output is on. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, output is 1. And A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, output is 0. This is exactly A, B bar that we are shown. Then if you are going through an inverter, the result will be reversed, so that becomes A, B. Now we are moving to the second part. This A, B is connected and S, A is connected. So output of that becomes A B into S A. <laughs> because the circuit is just similar to the first one. Here A and B, instead of that, here S A and A B. So output of that term is S A bar into A B that, that I will I explain later because there will be a common inversion. Now, second part of this transistor is S B into A B bar is connected. So it becomes S B bar into A B and it is a summation because it is a parallel connection. You can check it. So it becomes output S A bar A B plus S B bar A B bar. Now we'll check how and two input XOR is working. Here you can see that this is some additional circuit is there. What is that is output is connected to another PMOS that you will call a keeper transistor. What is the function of a keeper transistor is when output is on, we want to ensure that this output will be kept at on. And sorry, when output means that it's not exactly the F, but F bar. When F bar is on, we want to ensure that the capacitor will be charged to the maximum and it will be hold that it will not be discharged. For that, what we can do is from output, we can take a connection and connect it to another transistor that is a PMOS that will ensure that the charging path is strengthened. How it will work is, 
whenever the capacitor is charging, you can see the original output that is F bar. F bar is on means F is equal to zero. If F is equal to zero, the condition of the second transistor that is PMOS is something like this. It is connected to F. It is zero. VG of the transistor, PMOS transistor that is connected to zero is, sorry, F is zero and Vs is VDD. So VGS become VDD minus zero. So this transistor will be one. So the charging path is more or the strength of the charging will be high. Now, if you are going for the, what will happen to this transistor when output is zero? When output is zero, sorry, when I'm saying output is zero, that means F bar is zero. When F bar is zero, because here the, if you are checking, the inverter, you can see that here the capacitor is connected. So when F bar is zero, naturally, F become on just a minute. Teacher on the left. So we will continue. Okay. When F bar is equal to zero, that means the capacitor, uh, the capacitor cannot be charged. So that time we want to ensure that the transistor, PMOS transistor that is connected to F has to be not on. So we will check it. If F bar is equal to zero, F is equal to one, that means the PMOS connected to F VG is equal to VDD, VS is equal to VDD, so VGS becomes zero. So during that condition, that additional PMOS transistor that we are connecting will not be on. So during F is equal to on, it is not connected, that is F bar is equal to zero, so there will not be any charging path. So this is an additional circuit that is called keeper circuit. For the time being, if you want, you can avoid it. You can discount, you can forget about all these things extra connected, but we can analyze how the circuit will work. During the clock period, that is zero period, the capacitor will charge. Charge. So for domino circuit, it will be recharged because the output becomes zero. Then thereafter, you can, if you can check what is the pull down network is A, B bar is serious. So it becomes A, B bar. And A bar B is in serious. So it becomes A bar B. And these two connections are parallel. So naturally the function is A, B bar plus A bar B. And here it is negative. So A, B bar plus A bar B the whole bar. And again it is inverted. So F become a invert of that, that is A B bar plus A bar B. That is a two input XOR. Similarly, whatever the connection you need at, you can realize in the pull down network, add a clock PMOS, add a clock NMOS, then it become, and give an inverter, then it become domino network. Now some circuits, it is ABC plus DEF. So ABC means A, B, and C in series. It becomes ABC. D, E, and F in series. It becomes DEF. Then these two things are in parallel. So it becomes ABC plus DEF. OK. Then we have an inverter. That is actually before the inverter, the functionality is ABC plus DEF, the whole bar. So inverter means it becomes ABC plus DEF. So it becomes domino logic. There'll be a keeper circuit that is from output. It is 
connected to the PMOS, it will ensure that when output is on and the capacitor will not charge, the charging of capacitor that is on, output on means input has to be zero. Similarly, output zero means input is on, that time it will charge. So this is a functionality. So in previous years, there will be a lot of questions for implementing functions in domino logic. How you implement it is, first draw a PMOS circuit that is for clock. After that, define it as output. Then draw an inverter from output. That is, it will ensure that it is domino logic. And after the output, you have to draw the pull down network. Here the thing is, it is inverted, so pull down network conditions are just this one. Any product draws serious transistors and connect the input. Any summation or plus draw parallel transistors and draw the whatever the functionality there. So can we try something that is a function I just just take one minute because I want to just check on previous year question people. I hope it may be with my downloads. I will just check it is available or not. No, it is not available. Just one minute I will check from my questions mail. Just wait for a minute. I hope you can see the question paper. It is in 2019. The question was implement A plus B plus C D plus E the whole bar using clock plus CMOS. So it is not specified, it is dominologic and it is a whole bar. So what is this circuit? Can you try it? So it and another question that is the DCVS that we will discuss next. Implementation using a function that we are discussed yesterday. Okay. The whole bar. Now you will take the one year, one other previous question paper. And the question is implement question number six C. Uh, I just want a feedback. Can you see this? Somebody can put a chat answer. Can you yes, see the question first? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. So question, question number 4B, the question is a domino logic implementation that is AB into C plus D into E plus F into G using three units. 
so the thing is you can take the things like this that is first you have to create A is a summation into AB and EF is a summation into AB that the two parallel things are the product then GH a total product of this and it is a domino logic that is inverted similarly you have a question for the same functionality PQ plus RS plus T the whole bar using CMOS there what is the difference is it is clock means the inverter is not required domino it is an inverter is required because it is an inverted that means it is a direct question can you follow the questions okay now we can say submit these three questions as your assignment next assignment that you can submit it today or tomorrow before tomorrow 10 o'clock through mail i hope it is easy Okay, do you have any feedback? Please send it in chat. Any time extension you need it or anything. Or if you want more explanation, questions or anything. I hope you can see the question now. That is, one is implement a function inside is equal to AB into C plus D into E plus F into GH using three units of domino logic so whatever the things you can you can find you can take it as a b into c plus d as a unit e f into g plus h as a unit then you can go for the third unit taking this two output connected in serial so it become product of that as a third unit can you follow what i am saying or you want some examples that means I will again switch back to my presentation slides sorry Okay, can you view the presentation slides now? So here you will check. What is the function? A, B, C plus D, E, F is realized something like this. So if you just modify A, B into C, what you have to do is A, B, instead of C in series, you have to connect a C in parallel. So it becomes A, B, plus C okay so if you convert add an inverter at the output it become domino logic so what normally before domino logic what you are getting is F bar that is if you are taking before domino logic that is before that inverter what you will get is a b c plus d e f the whole bar so that is a normal clock logic if you go for an inverter that become a domino logic then it will get a b c plus d e f but if i am going for the questions there is if you check both the questions the questions that is z is equal to a b 
there is a positive logic that is using domino. The question that is for cloth, it is PQ plus RS plus T, the whole inverse. Can you see that? That means addition inversion is a negative logic that is for clock on. Then again, a previous question, one more question that we discussed. That is AB plus CD plus E, the whole bar using clock CMOS. It is not dumb enough. So that means uh, inversion is not required. So now we'll switch to DVSL circuits. Before that, if you have any thing to be clarified, we will discuss. Okay, I have two chats, I want to just check one minute. Okay. Actually, there is an answer. No, I cannot follow. You cannot follow the questions or anything. Can you just switch on the mic and? Okay, what I will do is I will share the questions itself. Two university questions that I have, I will share in your mail IDs. Okay, so you can answer the questions. Sarvoyo. <laughs> Network problem 
എനിക്കൊന്നും മനസ്സിലായില്ല ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ ഇല്ലേന് അയ്യോ ഇത് റെക്കോർഡിംഗ് ആണ് സാറിന് പക്ഷെ പോകുമ്പോ താങ്ക് യു ഒന്ന് പറഞ്ഞില്ലല്ലോ അപ്പൊ ക്ലാസ് നിർത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ടാവില്ലല്ലോ പക്ഷെ ഇവിടെ ആരോ താങ്ക് യു പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ ആരോ താങ്ക് യു പറഞ്ഞു നീ കേട്ടോ ഓ അതിനാണോ ഓ നോക്കിട്ട് വരാൻ പോയതാ സാറ് എല്ലാരും വിട്ട് തീർന്നു നിങ്ങളൊക്കെ തീർന്നു
there was a problem with the network connectivity that's why i just Okay, I want to just get a feedback. Can I? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we will switch over to another area that is because of this differential voltage circuits. It is actually included in the fifth module. And we have to go with the pass transistor logic first. So what is a pass transistor logic is using a single PMOS or NMOS transistor. Can I transfer a zero or on to another side? A simple pass transistor, which is a circuit that is showing here, that is you have a NMOS or PMOS transistor. There be an input, there be an output. Naturally, input and output. Sometimes it may be drain and source, depend upon the voltage condition. Because when we are starting of circuit design, we will told what is the condition is for a. PMOS or NMOS transistor, we cannot say which is the source or which is the drain. A source or drain is defined based on the voltage condition. That is for a PMOS transistor, source is always the highest potential point and drain is always the lowest potential point. For a NMOS, source is always the lowest potential point and drain is always the highest potential point. So when you are using a PMOS or NMOS as a switch, depend upon is input or output is high, there will be a switching between the source and drain. So gate is used as a controlling unit. If it is a clocked circuit, we can use a clock as a controlling element there. So for a PMOS, normally the clocking will happen when a clock is high. For a NMOS, Normally, the clocking will happen when clock is low. So if you want to ensure a PMOS is switching for a high clock, then we have to connect the clock in bus. Can you follow what I am saying? Or later, we will go for a complementary pass transistor. That is, a PMOS and NMOS is connected in parallel together. That time, what we will do is, if you want to clock it during the positive, then we will connect clock to the NMOS and clock bar to the PMOS. Okay. The same thing in the case of NMOS, that is the gate can be a control unit. Control unit means you can give a signal, control signal and switch it. Otherwise, if it is a digital circuit, then you have, sorry, digital clocked circuit, then you have to connect a clock at the gate. For a NMOS transistor, Clocking is happening during the positive half cycle. So you want to clock a NMOS transistor at the negative. I want a feedback. Is it shared the clock? Sir, the slide is not seen. Okay. I think uh, I think have a net connectivity problem here. So we will do one thing. We will continue our discussion on next day. Okay. Okay, sir. Hello. Yeah.
So we have, yeah, it's already one hour and we are possibly more than that, it will be get bored. And more of that, I have a connectivity problem, I think it is happening here. So we will continue next day. Next day means we will meet on 17th, sorry, 10th and 11th. Okay. By the way, way, that we can plan to cover the fourth and fifth module. And we will meet on 18th and, sorry, 17th and 18th, because your exam will be over by 16th. We'll have a class on 17th and 18th, by which we can cover the sixth module. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Thanks, sir. Sir, I will.